everybody, this is Dan, Basic Camping with Dan. And today I'm gonna share with one of my favorite top uh, camp recipes. It's super easy and it's super delicious, especially when it's cold. It's uh, one of my famous uh, hot chocolate recipes and it, it really hits the spot when you're camping and it's chilly out, you need a warm beverage. And this hot chocolate recipe is so easy, you may never want to use bag hot chocolate ever again. It's whenever you make a it homemade, it, it's really the world of different. It's a lot creamier, tastier, and just all around just a better hot chocolate. And the ingredients are as follows: 90% uh, dark chocolate. Um, I prefer dark chocolate, but if you don't like your chocolate as strong you could opt for like a 70% dark we got uh, hot cocoa um, got to get the good hot cocoa because it has a lot of flavor and really what makes this uh, recipe unique is I use brown sugar instead of white sugar and uh, the brown sugar is really what's gonna set this recipe uh, apart from uh, a lot of the recipes you see online another Thing that sets this apart is uh, real vanilla. Uh, real vanilla is really important in this recipe because it really adds that complexity. And lastly, we're going to need uh, milk. Um, you could use whatever milk you want. Uh, whole milk is going to be the creamiest, but if you want to, if you don't want uh, such high fat content, I prefer like two or one percent. But it's really on your preference. And the first thing we need to do is we need to get our pots and we need to get two cups of milk uh, started to warm up. So the first thing we need to do is we need to measure out uh, two cups of milk. Two cups. And, and once the milk's in, we're going to do two tablespoons of uh, brown sugar packed. So one, and two. And once we have the brown sugar and the cocoa powder, we're gonna whisk that in real good. I make sure it's all incorporated. And make sure that is uh, really incorporated. Get out on any clumps that uh, may form. And then once that's incorporated, we need to add the chocolate. We're gonna do about a third cup of chocolate. Uh, this is 90% dark, so it's really uh, strong chocolate, but uh, like if you're making this for kids, you can uh, substitute milk chocolate, which will make it a little bit sweeter and less bitter. And so we're just gonna do like a rough chop on this chocolate, chop it into smaller pieces. And uh, once we get the uh, chocolate in, we're gonna whisk it real good for about a minute or so, make sure it's fully incorporated. and now we get to add the uh, vanilla. So we're going to add, I'd say about a quarter of a teaspoon. You don't want to add that much. So here's a teaspoon, so just about a quarter. That's really going to give it a lot of flavor. And then we are going to mix this all together and uh, let it simmer for about a minute or so. Uh, make sure all the flavors are incorporated and then serve immediately. Cheers, thanks for uh, tuning in to this episode of Basic Camping with Dan. I appreciate uh, you tuning in. The uh, recipe is going to be in the comments below if you'd like to make this. And if you have any questions on this recipe, uh, you can email me. My email is in my bio. And uh, yeah, thanks for tuning in. And also, if you've not seen my uh, last adventure where I uh, camped and cooked on a gravel road, I'll have that in the description too. I recommend it. It's a 
really fun adventure, but yep, cheers everybody. Thanks for tuning in.